Your child's ophthalmologist has recommended a type of surgery called tear duct probing. This procedure is used to open up a blocked tear duct near the eye. This should allow tears to drain from the eye. Let's take a look at what happens when a tear duct is blocked. Tears protect the eyes and keep them moist and healthy. Tears come from the conjunctiva, which is the clear tissue over the white of the eye and from the lacrimal glands. These glands are located above each eye. The tears flow across the surface of your eye and drain through tiny holes called puncta. Puncta are in the corners of your upper and lower eyelids near the nose. The tears then travel through tiny passages in the eyelids. They eventually go into the nasolacrimal duct before emptying into your nose. This is why your nose runs when you cry. When the tear drainage system is either partly or completely blocked, tears cannot drain normally. The eye becomes watery and irritated. It can also be constantly infected. A child can be born with a blocked tear duct, or it can be caused by an infection or other problem in the tear drainage system. Probing the tear duct opens the pathway for tears to flow through the tear drainage system. That will prevent the constant watering and discharge from your child's eye. Tear duct probing is usually done as an outpatient procedure. It may be done in the doctor's office using anesthetic eye drops to numb the eyes. Or the procedure may be done at an outpatient surgery center using general anesthesia so your child is in a deep sleep for several minutes. To open a child's blocked tear duct, an eye surgeon may probe the tear duct. The surgeon will dilate or widen the puncta with an instrument. Then he or she will gently pass a very thin probe through the puncta into the tear drainage system, then into the back of the nose. This may clear the blocked duct, allowing tears to drain again. The surgeon will remove the probe and check to see that the duct is open. As with any surgery, there are possible risks with tear duct probing. Tear duct probing risks can include sore eyes, red eyes, eye infection, tear duct not opening, bleeding, and problems from anesthesia. An alternative to tear duct probing may include putting a tube called a stent in the duct to open it. Another option may be surgery to create a new pathway for draining tears. These options are typically used when probing did not help. Your child's ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose probing to treat the blocked tear duct. Your child does not have to have the blocked tear duct treated. However, if it is left untreated, there is a risk of your child having more eye infections and ongoing watery eyes. If you have any questions or concerns about tear duct probing, ask your child's ophthalmologist. He or she will be happy to help you understand the risks and benefits of this procedure. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your child's eyes or vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your child's sight.